Hey folks, I'm Trevain Glory, and welcome to part 68 of my campaign is Gondor in Divide and Conquer. So as you can see, we have some trouble at Ethring. Uh, this army has come out from Edalond and Lain Siege, but it's not the strongest of troops. And we've got small but decent enough force in there to deal with them. Actually, no, we don't because these guys are weak. Now, we've got a couple of generals. Uh, we should be okay. But we've also got these troops here. And we should be able to bring all of them out from Tarnost. Public order will be fine. And we're just going to march these guys up behind. And we'll let them make their attack when they're good and ready. Uh, everything over here is still okay. Dol Amroth have a small fleet come up here to blockade Aradunaim. It's not the other way around, is it? No, because Aradunaim hold Edelund. So my plan will be to defeat that army and then march on Edelund and retake that, hopefully. We still hold Fanwilond and the fortress. Dol Amroth still have this one, although they've not got a garrison inside. And we've got some money to spend. Up here, uh, Kirandros is under siege. Uh, as Gileath, Western as Gileath is not for the moment. I'm gonna stick you. And we've got lots of black hurrocks with halberds uh, and some Sorin's will. Not too bad a force. I don't think I've got anything in here I can pull over. Nope. What do I have that I can retrain? Pinnath Gelen Cavalry, 740 gold. I might come back to that. And here, I would want to retrain the Gondor Militia, I suppose. And that's only 150. Let's do that. And what can I recruit actually in here? Hmm. Do I want to recruit anything or do I want to hold my money? Was Gilliath going to be under siege next turn? We're going to sally out at Cair Andros, but we're not going to defeat that army, obviously. What can I recruit here? Not much. Fanwilland. And we could get more Lebenin Marines. We did take that company up north with us. Actually, I'd forgotten all about that. And um, we've got Boromir on his way up here as well. Well, there you go. Uh, Boromir. Let's... Protect the blood of no, that's Cav. Um, I was going to leave off a general in Tarnost. What's the income increase if we do that? Oh, it's worth it. Oh, yes, it's worth it. Um, let's have those troops march up to there and you can join this general. All right, just a general there. Um, so anyway, back to this, I could Do that every time. Recruit them. Leaves us still 1400. So I then can come back up here. We'll retrain that cav after all and get us some more territorial guardsmen, I suppose. Unless we go for archers, what do we have in here in the way of archers? Not a great amount, but we can retrain them. We'll be able to retrain them as well if we send them back to Minas Tirith. Yeah, so I think we'll settle for that. That leaves us 92 gold and we'll lose 300 gold when we make this attack. So I'm going to do this now and I'll do this off camera. This army also has, uh, well, it's got trolls as well as Black Rooks and Black Rooks with Halberds and Sorin's Will and Morgul Chosen. So it's a fairly hefty, medium-sized force. 
medium tier force, um, but we'll weaken it down to 50-60% of its strength and then see what they want to do in the end turn. So I'll fight this one off camera as usual, then I'll bring you guys back um, after the battle. Okay, battle's done and we killed just under 60% of the enemy. They've still got, I oh, can't really see them, um, still got some fairly significant units in the army. There's, uh, what, 12, 13 trolls, uh, still half a company of Murgles Chosen. Uh, the Sorens, well, we may have done enough to get rid of them, but there's only a couple of dozen of them left if um, we haven't. So we'll see how we end up. Hopefully done enough that they won't attack uh, John. Well, actually, maybe I would prefer them to attack John the Interm now that I think on it. Uh, I mean, if that was all that came in. So they've still got 18 swords, well. Uh, 76 Morgul chosen. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather they didn't attack. Let me sally out again next time and put an end to them. Right. But yeah, that's taken us down into the red. I've not moved my diplomats yet. It should be someone around. Why can I not find my diplomat? Oh, he's still up here. Oh no, that's the other one. You're heading up to approaching there. Hopefully, dignity. find high elves. Stopping here. Yeah, and the other guy's over here. There he is. Your orders. What is it you wish to discuss? Right, uh, we would hope to get an alliance, you know. No, we didn't think so. Never mind. Stuff your alliance. Right, so, end turn. We'll now see whether these guys attack. Or whether they come up with a different plan. Let's move on. I wish Dolamroth had put some forces into that fortress. Good. Didn't attack Kerandros. Um, yeah, I don't like Dolamroth leaving that coast open. Moment of truth. Mm, did nothing. Corsair invasion. I wish I would show you where the Corsair invasion actually was. Because it's not always that evident. Uh, recruitment report, okay. Got some retraining. A couple of new units. And we're okay still for money. So I should maybe have let you out, but we're going to merge up those forces and then go and attack down here. It will be an honor defeating you. Full stack, but Hopefully not the strongest of units. And here comes uh, Aradunaim again. Yep, yeah, definitely need to put more troops in there. Let's put the Lebanon Marines. By your command. I could bring some troops over from Pelargar, but I do think everybody's going to head back up here now and they can just head along the coast. So we'll leave that as it is. And can send this cav south. That's where you head down. I head for Brethel just now, actually, because I might send you across to link up with Boromir. And you're probably okay. Yeah, I want these guys across here. Yes. 
and spend some money. Thinking about more Athelian Rangers, but I want more infantry. We maybe just need to go all out in here. I'm not going to take the farmhand pikemen. I think we'll do without them and Tharnost. Get more territorial guardsmen in there. Okay, Bottomer, join up and we'll attack there. Uh, in fact, let's, let's go ahead and do that now. Slay them. Control everyone, thank you. Let them have it, men. Yes, hopefully losses won't be too severe here. Um, having seen all those forces from Aradenaim coming back across the Anduin, I'm a bit concerned. What the hell are we on here? Okay. <laughs> Never in my life encountered this map. Anyway, let's get the archers line up across there. Be interesting to see what their range is. And we'll have To try and get the cav across there before they take the bridge. I think we will. So you're going to head down. Um, we'll have Boromir and his friend here. And there. Let's just have all of these guys grouped together. We'll sort them out later. Uh, but for now, try and get them across. And they've got cab of their own. And I need to remember I've got reinforcements coming in, so we don't need to hurry here. And uh, let's get you down there. And you come down here as well just in case they decide to try and charge over. It doesn't look like it though. Uh, we'll get our archers in now. Where could the archers... archers can maybe go here, yep. Let's get up to our reinforcements. And we'll have you come and stand up here. General and behind uh, with those guys. This cav in here. Get you across. Right, if you can come out. To that sort of position. And then we'll have you come up behind them. And charge them. We'll try and get some troops out to each flank if we can. Uh, you out there. Archers, are you in position yet? Just about. Let's move this cav out the way. You come down here. Have faith 
If we continue like this, we will uh, smash you... the enemy. And they now they're making up their mind what to do. Uh, try and slide you guys out. That would be really good. Uh, where are their archers? Shoot at them. Okay, let's have you come across. Doing decent enough work there up here. Try and get into your shield wall formation. You do the same there, and if you can march down there, in general. You can go and attack now that this cav's up here. Let's view tighten up a bit. Look like a good enough charge. Try and pull out now. You go after them. Charge into the back there. You're not getting away yet, so try again. And now the calves any closer. Let's target them with our archers. Right. Real mess, and um, we didn't get these guys into the sort of position that I was after. Can we bring these the Benin Marines back on here? Let's give it a try. And again, we'll pull our calf out. And then if you come across here and form up. Cross there the at the run, please. Bloody. They have lost our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to Good fight. stuff. Uh, let's get the archers to switch targets over here. General, you charge down into that shaking infantry there. And you could actually reform now. Throw at them. Just chase these guys down. Let's view head out over here. You oh well, we're done. We're going to continue the battle. Try and get this cav across now to do some chasing down. And get into them, you as well. Right, okay, once that cav gets through that mass, it'll move more quickly. You go up after those guys. You attack them. Nothing else around here. You can actually just stand and out. And you. You come back down, attack them. You're just about done with these guys. Right, that'll do. Come and attack them now. Oh, 
just throw. You don't need to chase after them. Um, right. You're chasing them down. Keep on them. These guys are still chasing off after those raiders. No need to. Uh, they're done. So attack them instead. You keep on throwing at them. I think we can leave those guys alone. Come across here instead. And we're just about there. Let's see. Right, so they got away. 24 left there. 35 there. So that's good enough. Let's end it here. This is a clear victory. 235 losses. I suppose that's not bad for forcing your way across a bridge. Uh, but that will hopefully be the end of that army. Oh, it should be. Yeah, there's no way it can get away, even if anybody did survive. But I don't think anyone did. Pretty sure their cav was wiped out. I don't think it managed to get off the map. And... Yes, Let's please, offer to ransom them this time. No. They turned down the offer. Right. In here, I think we're actually going to see if we can, yeah, we can join everyone up. And then we'll put you back into Aethering. We'll merge up these guys and we'll leave one company of them behind. And Aethering, are you still on very high yet, Har? Let's leave. Uh, well, let's do this first. We'll leave them behind. Boromir will bring you back into Tarnost. And then we'll see what happens. We might need to come over to help deal with that, but I would rather bring them down here. And 449 isn't enough to recruit anything. Well, do I go for these pikemen? Just to have the numbers. I don't really want to do that. Um, you can't get in there. You've already done what you can. Can I retrain anyone, I suppose? No. Um, right. I guess we'll just leave it as is then. Yep, we just accept it. We've got 450 gold unused. And we'll end the turn. Once we've moved to diplomats. Any chance of an alliance? No, probably not. I do not believe I'm able to accept this. Well, don't well, accept it then. Stand there and do nothing. Watch the world fall. Okay. So these guys here will come out and sally out against these remaining orcs. And we should be able to defeat them this time. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll bring you guys back in the next part for the intern. 
So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.